a blessed Thursday to all. One very significant event in the biblical narratives is or has something to do with God's revelation to Moses at Mount Sinai. Now, the word revelation is always called uh, is always called a private affair. It is called theophany, a theophanos or phani, phaneo. So it is God revealing to either a person or a group of persons. In the case of the first reading today, it is to Moses. Now, there is another word that we are familiar, especially towards the end of the Christmas season, and that is the feast or the solemnity of the epiphany. Now, epiphany means the revelation to everyone, to all people. Walay dipili. Now, since theophany is a private concern or a revelation, it is not, all, all, it is not just only uh, reserved to, to a particular or to particular people, particular person. There are so many people or persons, by the way, who also receive theophanies in their prayer lives, in their experiences, or even uh, just along the process. No? Kadang mo kalitrag tumaw ba? Mutungha ra realizations about God, about the wonders that He has done, or even certain things that are ominous. Now, what is this, or what is this something to do with our reflection for today? You know, there are many moments and instances in our lives that God touches our hearts. We call it a theophany experience. Although not all theophanies or visions you know, that are received should always be made public because the church is now very particular about it. Kay daghan di kay mga hawks. But in terms of personal experiences, these are moments and basis of our enrichment in how God touches our lives in its, in its many different ways. But it is something that we have to begin and to cultivate because this is where we can grow from out of these experiences. In fact, we can connect this with today's gospel reading when Jesus says, to anyone who has, more will be given. It is so easy to understand the very words here said, but there is a deeper meaning to this. Anyone who has, more will be given, meaning to say, people who are ab able, even can ably see through what is happening in the ordinariness, in the ordinary events in their lives. Usahin ay mga ordinaryong nga hitabo sa itong kinabuhi nga. Kung ato ara na siya, ah, ordinaryo rana, pero kung atong pamalandungan, we get something deeper, and that is where and when God touches us. And this is the very challenge of today's gospel reading, among other things, that is, to be able to see with our hearts, to listen with our hearts, because it is in the heart that God touches us and makes certain theophanies so that we individually can grow and enrich ourselves and then eventually share this with other people who are close to us and even to those who are mga usyoso, mga marites because they have to know also that God is among us and acting for us, showing his grace and giving blessings to everyone who is attentive to him. Amen.